Well, I've been with the company 16 years, so when track came about, it was great because that was my baby to start with. It definitely was a big improvement, um, less writing for the guys to do, all the information was in one place. We'll go from estimate to Vista to track. After I set up the job in Vista, I import it into track. And so whatever is in Vista exactly matches track. And we use track uh, for, for bringing in all the information, the payroll information, the equipment hours. We're capturing labor, billing quantities, production quantities, and subcontractor quantities. That's what the field can keep track of. They see exactly what I see, exactly how I'm gonna build it, exactly how the job was built, line-wise, quantity-wise, unit of measure, everything is exactly the same. Overall, it definitely does save time. It's way more efficient than keying in all of that information. And the information that does come in that may be incorrect is an easy thing to fix. It wasn't too hard to get them, you know, to actually implement it. They found it easy to adopt after they got over the whole computer. Oh my God, I'm scared of a computer. Um, the software they really liked. The tech support has always been great. Uh, going back for a really long time. It's a very easy software. People like to try to make it complicated. It's just not, it's just simple. They like the different sections of it. They leave a lot of notes for us to tell us, you know, because they're basically our eyes and ears out there. And those field logs and what they enter in those field logs give me a picture. I can go look in the production into the job. I can look at a certain item and look at all of the field logs and all of the notes along with those field logs. Our production reports show labor and equipment for the guys in the field because basically that's what they can change. That's what they're in charge of. Some of the stuff that I look at is uh, the, the production reports. So if we're out on a job and we're doing, you know, we're doing paving for instance, it'll come up with an average tons per shift. So I can look at that on a similar job if we're bidding a similar job can look at to see what we got out there and, and use that in, in bidding. I use the job item summary and the production item summary um, because primarily I'm looking for billing items. We'll be able to compare unit cost versus estimate versus actual. So all that information comes in through track. It's my baby, you know, I'm proud of the guys and they're, they're uh, continuing success with it. It's a great resource.